is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video that was a really fast intro and today we're playing a freaking broken champion that I've been experimenting with the past couple games I played about two games with her two games only and um both of the, well, the first game was 13 1 and 16 the second game was 12 3 and 6 so not to you know like ruin or not to like spoil anything, but I feel like it's gonna be a pretty good game. So, if you don't know, I'm going Courage of the Colossus, which, you know, of course, this is the title of the video states Full Tank Karma. And boy, is it nasty. So, you rush Iceborne first, and if, when you, you know, watch me play and everything like that, it's actually really freaking fun. We're against a Vladimir top, it looks like. And how you play is when you W and when you E, you run at them, and you auto. When you auto them, and the Iceborne goes off, you're gonna pretty much always get that root off. Unless they have, unless they're like, you know, Vlad or something, <clears throat> and then, you know, you can't get the root off, of course. But she has so much base damage and stuff like that, that really, the only AP you need is your Rod, your Rallies, and maybe a Leandries if you really want that. But notice, you know, you're getting like all health items, you're also getting all, um, like, Iceborne, armor, mana. Like, you're just getting all these items that, you know, are just super, super heavy on tanking. That was a nice first blood for our bot lane. That's kind of a cheese, I, I'm assuming. You got the, uh, the Vlad there. I'm gonna walk around, because I don't really... Oh, jeez. My, like, thing went off camera. Ah, all three with one Q. That was satisfying. So, looks like they'll be trading kills, so that's, uh, they got first blood, so I think, I think our bot lane wins there. So, as tank karma in the top lane, you want to poke with your autos as much as possible, because you want to get those mantra cues off, and your passive, of course, as you auto and as you hit abilities, you're going to be reducing the cooldown of that. So one of the most fun things to do just to get a root off and then get a mantra Q off and then that's a free trade right there. Like, you're gonna out trade pretty much every time. It is a Vlad though, so he might heal quite a bit. I'm also, but with the Courage of the Colossus, you're also getting insane trade quality out of like, you know, every time you root somebody, getting all that, you know, courage and, it, it really, it actually really does help. A lot of people, they go wind speakers. I think personally that, Courage is better. So you're gonna root him, get that courage. So he's going to. I'm gonna actually speed him up. I don't think be able to do anything, but I want that. No, ah, I still got it. Awesome. So now I'm just. So I actually hit him with that. That was pretty nice. So I mean, literally, I'm just gonna focus on poking him, getting ahead in CS. And just winning this lane like that. Once you win the lane, once you get an Iceborne, even though it's a Vlad, I'm still getting to get an Iceborne. Because it's just such a good item. You don't really get it for the armor even. I'm just gonna cue that. You get it a lot for the mana as well. The mana helps a ton. Yeah, so he's gonna run at me. I'm just gonna run back at him. I really just wanna play this like, you know, super farmy. And it sounds like really boring. Once you get Iceborne, you'll be able to kill I mean, I'll be able to kill him pretty easily. Also, Sheen first item. Like, first back is pretty nice. Which is what I'm going to try and get. Oh, one of the other things that Iceborne does for you. I'm going to keep talking about, like, how great Iceborne is on her. But the 20% CDR. It does a lot. It goes a long way on Karma. So, he has his empowered Q up. But that doesn't matter because that's going to be a hard out trade. He didn't actually Q me with his empowered Q. I don't know if it was like off cooldown or like what, but that was weird. He's playing like really passive. I don't know if he just... Oh, that's a double kill in the bot lane. So we might be getting carried this game. So we might look really good. Might make this, uh, this whole Karma top thing look really nice. I'm actually doing really good CSing as well. I'm kind of proud of myself, honestly. Oh, I missed that one. As soon as I say something, it's like the uh, the streamer or the you know the recording rule or the streaming rule 
you never compliment yourself on your gameplay because then you start playing like shit. So I want to push this in because I want to back. I'm going to miss a couple more than I probably would like to. So I'm actually out of mana. So if he tries to fight me. Yeah, so I'm just going to shove that in. He might not get all of it because it's kind of hard to see us with Vlad under tower. So it looks like Zed. I wonder if that's like a chroma bag. I don't know. I'm actually gonna minimize that real fast so my freaking mouse will quit going off the screen. So I'm gonna pick up uh, Sheen and I'm gonna pick up two health bots. I really don't need to TP. Unless he really pushes it in. But also, I mean, with how much spells you're casting constantly, Sheen is actually insane. It does quite a bit. So I don't know. She's not even. I mean, she's not six, obviously. So she's. This Blitz is level five, and Illusion's level three. He has four kills. He has one. How does that even make sense? Has this Illusion just been like jungling this entire game, but not jungling for? I don't know. We're gonna pick up that second mantra. Second level mantra. Oh, hi bye. So I'm just gonna get the courage of the Colossus and you know, just I'm gonna live after that. Interesting gang. That was like she like stood still for a long time. Now it's worded though, so she really can't gank again. a lot of damage for one one Q. See a lot of I mean Karma Burst is actually like really fun as well. I've heard that you know you can do insane amounts of damage with it. But I just I like this tank karma so much. Like just running up, getting Sheen autos, like her shield is so good for trading. Like the courage of the Colossus shield is even better. Also, I mean, she feels tankier than a lot of, like, heavy tanks. Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. But now he's going to have to back unless he really wants to stay. Oh, I didn't mean to auto that. I have TP. Can't really TP bot, though. He has Ignite. I just kind of realized that, so pushing into tower is really good for me. I really don't know what I'm doing. I probably I want to roam, but I don't know where to roam. Blue is not up. I want to see if the jungler is up here. Doesn't look like she is, so I'm gonna say in my bot side. She usually is one shot in the back line with like no AP. So I'm going to ping MIA up here. And yeah, there he is. Took him a while to come back, didn't it? So I kind of want my boots. I'm going to go ahead and go back and get my lucidity boots. She's going to be not doing a whole lot. So you, there's a couple boots you can go. If you really want to go full tank karma, you can go merc treads. I like lucidity boots because it gets me quicker to that 45% um, CDR, which is really good on karma. I I'm not going the 45% uh, CDR talent, which I should be. I don't know why I'm not. This Blitz might just get a free kill. Oh, wow. That was a weird flash. He's trying to dodge that hook so much, and he ended up doing it. But <laughs> It looked like really not flamboyant, but unnecessary almost. So I'm going to max my W second. You can max your E second if you're going wind speakers. And if you're gonna get, if you plan on getting an Argent, um, an Ardent Sensor, I think that's what it's called. They've renamed it like twice already, so I can't never tell. So I'm just gonna run up to him, get this, uh, root off. Oh, so he's gonna burst me. But like, I mean, I'm, like, it's not doing anything. His burst is not doing, I'm still full health. And that's a Vlad. Who does quite a bit of damage. And I'm really not that tanky right now, like, actual stat-wise. I'm really not. It's kind of crazy. 
So I want to poke him with that. I actually got him. Which is fantastic. Keep poking with those uh, mantra cues. I mean, the CS difference is is proven to be quite, you know, proven to be quite different. Of course, 80 to 56. It's pretty crazy. So I'm actually gonna sheen for that, just so I make sure I get it. So I have my mantra up. Gonna queue him right there. Not be getting the second proc off, but still a lot of damage in general. So I'm just gonna root her. Get that courage of the Colossus. And I'm out. I mean, it's you can't gank her, you can't fight her, you just. I mean, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mantra Q this guy under the tower so he can't see us for, you know, for shit. It's kind of funny. So Iceborne, we got a while for Iceborne. Might have to back. Eventually, I'm gonna have to back. Another thing is you don't have to, when you get Iceborne, you don't have to mantra Q to clear the back line. It's pretty helpful because you can just Q it and then auto it with Iceborne. Q that. It's kind of a waste of a key, like mana, but. So it can go back and get. Oh. So he's gonna ult the Blitz. Interesting. I don't. I wouldn't have ulted the Blitz. I would not have ulted the Blitz. The Blitz has not died, and I don't think he's gonna die anytime soon. So I'm actually not doing a whole lot this game besides just hard farming. Poking the living shit, I know, keeping this Vlad top. He has no TP though, so I could definitely make a TP play. And he wouldn't be able to follow up. It's pretty nice. They have no TP at all, actually. It's pretty good. So I'm actually going to, speaking of TP plays, I'm going to TP here. I'm going to come steal this. I'm going to try. Yay, she, the Blitz gave me that. So now, I'm actually gonna flash Q this, or not. So if you, I mean, if this Zed really wants to fight. All right, so we got a free route for like virtually nothing. So that was a good, that was a good double. This Vlad is weak as shit, he's not gonna do anything. Even with that spectral scowl, like he's not, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything to him, but he's never, he's like, he's definitely not gonna do anything to me. <laughs> we got, oh, I thought we had Hecarim coming. We do not, in fact. So, I mean, still, like, ridiculous damage. Not even trying. I really want to get this mantra Q off. Insane damage. We get another root off. So he's going to be igniting me. And I will be getting the kill. It's so tanky, it's just, I mean, it just sucks. It really sucks to play against this. I'm just going to spam my Q. Who's coming? I actually don't even know who's coming. But we'll, we'll go ahead and listen to them back off. I think that Jin might be coming. But we have, oh, Zed is coming. So I have my Mantra shield. So I'm really not, ups I mean, if this Zed really wants to come over the wall. Really? Like, really? I'll just run off. It's really annoying. I can't come help. Like, I don't know why he's telling me to run off and then come back. He actually might die under tower. And I, I don't have TP and I'm not gonna die. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and get Rod. Uh, we actually, so we'll just get Blasting more. Yeah, so they're gonna dive him. He won't be getting anything out of it, but I'm gonna be coming back fairly quickly. I do a lot more damage now with this Blasting one, so that'll be freaking awesome. I might be able to one-shot one of them if they stay. 
Zed being the prime target. So I'm just gonna like root her. Get that. I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna keep like, you know, playing ya. Like it's just so hard to kill me, like With this Iceborne, it's just so, it's just so hard. Like, I actually love this, this entire build and everything. It's so much fun. With red buff, I'm regening max health. <laughs> Should I take all those bag minions? I mean, 4-0 oh, and 2, and I feel like I'm supporting, honestly. I also like how much outplay potential there is, just because of how long you can survive. So that full backline clear with just a Q and an auto. I'm gonna let him have all that. Because I came back and get my Catalyst, which is awesome. I'm actually just going to like run up. I'm just gonna, all right, so that's a flash for a flash. Still got the root off. All right, missed that. <laughs> Still gonna be getting the kill regardless. We're gonna be tanking the turret a little bit as well. So this poor Jin just, you know, not catching a break. We're still regening a bunch of health too. So we have a Vi of Vlad and Lux, and I don't think they can stop us three. So we're gonna heck him get that. Still got the local gold. I mean, we can fight this. I have 50 gold to my, uh, my actual full rod. So I'm just gonna go do scuttle. I don't know. So we got, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got scuttle. I actually can't fight this, but I can probably shield. Yeah, we get, I got an auto off. And I got a bunch of damage off as well. I really need to back. I have no, no mana. I have TP, so I'll just TP back in. All right. So then for our next item, I'm gonna get a Rallies. Ugh, jeez, Louise. So I'm gonna have a, like a lot of slow potential, and I'm just gonna run on down here. I'm gonna tell them I'm on my way for blue because I really need it. going to ask him just be polite. Probably gonna take it anyways. I'm gonna TP to that just so nobody can actually like attack it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shield our entire team. Anybody getting that kill? Do a good old Q snipes. He actually juked us pretty hard. That was pretty smart. Lucian, however, is smarter. So with a rod, I actually might not need my blue. Oh, our blue. So much, I mean, I just feel like it's a little, like, unfair to have this much tankiness and do this much damage. It's like when Vlad, the first reworked Vlad came out, he was super tanky, did a ton of damage. Like, it seemed a little unfair. That was pretty funny. Pulling him into the queue. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. That's enough damage to make somebody broken and be this tanky. Alright, so that's a... F I'm just going to stand in front of them. Zed is really bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. He almost walked into that queue. But he also busted heal, so I'm actually gonna signal that real fast. I kinda wanna take damage so I can get some mana back. Just gonna try and poke him, I guess. He actually, I don't take, I don't do a whole lot of damage to him anymore. I do do a whole lot of damage to him though. 
He missed, she missed everything. She's gonna die for it. So we're at the double. And that is gonna be the forfeit. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. It's a very quick one. And if you guys did like the tank karma, please go try it out. It is actually insanely broken and it is pretty good for low. And I'll see you guys in the next video.